Welcome to another episode of the Danger Zone Podcast. This is officially episode two. With me today, we have Marty and Maria Mulder, Tim and Don Solomon. They uh, came down from Holland, Michigan to help us out at my dad's property, the bait shop in Pearson, to get it ready for Danger Fest this year. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. That means, that, that means a lot, you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know that's yes. a long way to come and it was brutally hot. <laughs> it was a little warm. It was brutally hot. Work out. Let's go work out. You know it's hot when my dad doesn't want to work. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah you know, actually. He was one. I was worried no. about him, man. I saw him, you know, kind of looking a little queasy there. So I'm glad we did stop. Times, but yeah. yeah, we got some sun yesterday. Cutting wood is not an ideal thing to do in 90 something <laughs> degree weather, man. So, yes. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully we can chip away at that wood pile and make some more room. But Ultimately, I think we're going to have more than enough room for everybody. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have more than we did two years ago. In two, two years ago. And how many did we have last year? I don't remember. Was it close to 40? Yeah, last year we ended up with, I think it was almost 50, actually, because it ended up being a lot bigger than we anticipated it was yeah. going to turn out to be. Because we were originally thinking only like 30 people, just ones that mm -hmm. wanted to yeah, play. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if I was even going to do it. Right. We were yeah. going to let everybody kind of... We were, that's why we didn't even establish the throw because we were like whatever anybody wanted to do that was going to come just because of COVID and didn't yeah. want people to be and then more people showed up than we even anticipated that's why a lot of things were kind of last minute because we weren't yeah. not really sure we thought or people would just come hang out and do whatever I didn't even feel throw. right calling it Danger Fest last right. year yeah. it was just a throw but we call it Danger Fest now but at the time it didn't seem I mean, it, didn't it didn't seem, seem right appropriate, you know, like of how the year was. You get used to a certain group of people being at these things all the time, and and when all those people can't come, it doesn't seem the same. But the same. well, we had a bunch of new people. All of you, all of you Michigan people came last year, and it was it's it was a, a different vibe, but it was still a fantastic time. Yeah. Everybody had it's a great fun time. A good time. It was yeah. Very yeah. Fun. It's still yeah. An amazing. For, it's worth the trip. Yeah. You know, it was fun. Hell yeah! For awesome. our second throw, I think that we've ever been to. So yeah. was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. We talked about that a little bit last night, but you guys didn't really count your own throws. That's basically no, the same thing, right? Yeah. And how many of you had at your house? Um, the women. Maybe three, three or four. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've been to a couple of the women. We've been to three, <clears throat> but one was just a, a get together. Yeah. 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 Well, we just did as a yeah, couple. As a we just fire. did as a fun get together. We, but we were at the the pumpkin throw. The Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. The Halloween, Halloween theme one. Halloween. And then that was the fun one. Yeah. yeah. That was the the, and uh, then the two WWK. Episodes. Yeah, the Battle of the Blade Maidens. That yes, was the last the two one. Of those. But we've been to, they do the, that's the big thing, um, is they do a women's and separate men's one of learning. They just do an invite, like September 12th, I think, is their next yes. ladies' invite for yeah. two hours. Visitors, yep. They and, uh, so I'm gonna let them explain that, so they can. Kind I'm of gonna wear a dress and go to that. <laughs> <laughs> but they think yeah, that well, they, I feel I left know, out. You, man. you never I know. know. I feel no, left no. out. Yeah. I don't know anything about knives. What is? Yeah, you guys want to talk about um, your range? How'd you get into that? How'd you, you know, you got one of the best ranges I've ever been to at your house. It really did start with WWK because yeah. um, we yeah, have okay. we were kind of deciding where to hold the Battle of the Blade Maidens, knowing that we had, I think, twenty or so. Uh, women registered or interested in throwing that mm -hmm. first bigger one and then it was like the second one that they that Kelly had thrown um, and that we were just deciding on where to do it and we hadn't really decided yet and so mm -hmm. we were doing our planning committee meetings and I know Maria even came over the day and we just walked outside and I had my iPad and was like well we have this well then the next meeting we had we did it at the property and as soon as we kind of saw that, then Kelly kind of got us in touch with the Michigan guys, Michigan. right? The Michigan Andy blade Michigan throwers, the uh, uh, Brent White Knight and Brent, Bill, and Bill Jim, and Jim, Jim, and, Jim and, and Brandon, and Brandon, and Brandon. And Brandon. Yeah. and Brandon lives right down the road from us, really, like yeah. five minutes. Um, so he's we're actually used to throwing with him like once a week and. He does has done some teaching out there, probably more than Tim and I have encouraged it. Right, we've I've done we've done it. Marie and I mentoring for women's, and I actually do taxes on the side kind of thing. <laughs> and when people came to pick up their taxes during COVID, it went out into July, 
and the range was built in June for the women's blade, Battle of the Blade Maidens, the first yeah. Battle of the Blade Maidens, I think. That was, was when you guys the, had five target or lanes uh, set up, right? Four, we actually had four, but then four we had two lanes. portables that we put next right. to them. Okay. So we did yeah. have six lanes technically, oh, cool. but... Right. Yeah. And we did like speed knives at that last one very far away from right. kind of everybody else and that yep. kind of thing. But that was the first and then that's how we kept it until this past. Yeah. Then this yeah. past year. Oh, you got them, them deck pieces. Yeah. Brent, spread it out. Brent does construction yeah. and got us a couple of big deck pieces, three of them actually. And we just extended our wall and Good we have you know, nine full lane. lanes and a yeah. tenth skinny lane. So, I yeah. mean, it, it's And then we grown. took the two remotes and we added the five targets on those and those are in the backyard now. Yeah. So we still have actually two more lanes in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. Just off the back, yeah. Yeah, so we were kind of hoping that, you know, at this visitor's day, September 12th for the women, um, that's on a Sunday, it's kind of just to let people know what it's all about and see if they'd even be interested, right? Because right. some people may have come last year to visitors day and thought oh gosh i thought this was going to be for me but it you know my passion's really this and i'm not going to have the time to dedicate to even six league nights or days or whatever it is for that team because you kind of pick your own mm -hmm. days that you're going to do yeah. the six league days but <clears throat> yeah with your team get together yeah. that's what it all kind of started with and and the michigan blade the michigan guys all came and pitched in and they were like, this is going to be great because we happen to have a, I don't even know what size it is. That cement pad on the side like of our, our house, like 28 60. by. Yeah. It's 50. like 30 by 60 cement pad yeah. that we turned into the range. It's perfect. Man. With lines We used to mark our camper on it, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. We'll make a range out of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It used to be a dirt bike track. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, he used to jump cars, day. you know, yeah. over that cement pad too. When he <laughs> we had his jump cars and yeah, track cars, yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. fun. It's yeah. been yeah. a lot of fun. It's been a, a, a ramp and a jump, and and we've never used it for anything more than yeah. that. And then all of a sudden, we're like, oh yeah, let's throw a range up here. And yeah, the six lanes seemed really nice, really. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then now that it's all, now that it's nine full lanes and nice painted white, yeah. you've got. It's nice. You know, John Jones, who pitched in all the, gave us the idea of the mud flaps underneath to kind of prevent yes. any yeah. knives from going yeah. underneath the target. So yeah. you're not Those out nice. behind looking for anything. And yeah. Yeah. Now it's rare it, now that we look for a knife. That's great. Yeah. Which is useful yeah. mechanic. You yeah. can get access to that stuff, you know. So. Yeah, that, that works out really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, between uh, Jeff and Kelly and, and Bill know, right? and Jim and no, Brent, and then we always have yeah. help. John and Candy are always there helping. Ann and her husband came and helped. Um, and Maria Kelly, and Marty. Kelly yeah, and Jeff and Kelly are Mets. are kind of like the staples as well. Yeah. And Brandon, he was there helping dig the you know four foot holes and even yeah. some of the the men that were invited because Brandon and Tim and Jeff kind of started doing a men's. Not necessarily a league, but hey, are you guys aware this sport exists type thing? And yeah. are you interested in learning it at all? And if you are, hey, show up on this Sunday yeah. and we'll be out there throwing Just some, together, some steel. Teach people, get people interested. And it, it, every time we've done that. do a towel You know? Yep. Yeah. Ten, right. I mean, we've filled yeah. all the lanes every, every time they've done that. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So, and we do also go out there with them a lot and we don't mind having the guys out with us. But when we do our leagues um, with the women, we kind of do it just to have fun. And it's a, it is kind of more of a getaway themed outing and things like that, that mostly women would probably yeah, don't you guys like, uh, get into. Dress up and stuff. Dress up. Yeah, we do themed, yeah. themed nights. It was, there's only six <laughs> throws, right? So you're planning. Like pajama night or, you know. Yeah, yeah we did. I mean, yeah. So that's why you'll see some of our videos where we're like, you know, I think one of Kelly's videos, one of her teammates was throwing speed knives in her robe and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. But that's why. And I mean, some people, I mean, every team comes up with their own thing. They had the glow theme. That yeah, was that pretty was neat really cool. where you've got the glowing. Um, I think the red team did too, the Slay Sisters. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's pretty neat. You know, you get to come up with all these fun names and do all these fun things and kind of act a little bit crazier than maybe you would if you would be maybe more reserved if there was other people around. But yeah. Girls yeah. can cut loose. Right. We cut yeah. loose. There's yeah. only there's only the six of us or seven. Well, how many are on your team, right? Yeah. You can go anywhere from what? Four, four to, to, like, the pink team was really large this yeah. year and was, yeah. like, 12. 
Oh, wow. Um, but we recommend to try to stick around six, you know. So you got to get everybody to gather. Because you, you got to pick all the same times. Everybody's got to be there. You know, really, it's the best time. One of the gals on our team is second shift, so um, we do ours on the weekends. Most of the teams do theirs during the week on a Friday night or, right. you know, so, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some, you know, women like to have drinks afterwards. Some... You know, maybe don't. Maybe they have something else how that they do. How many teams are there now for WWK? I was going to ask you, how many people, how many women are total? There's 61 women Damn. signed up for this past 20, 21, oh. 20, you know, 20 to 21. And years. it evolved over what, two years? Or, um, know, no, since she started it in 2013, years? I believe, oh. with just three of them. And then so they expanded dang. team by team and... Um, you know, some of it. all, yeah. a lot yeah, of the colony, original teams you know, you all find still all there. your friends in your colony and yeah. damn, yeah. yeah. Well, and I well, know, MBT I know is growing to Ohio as well. Yes. So it's yes. starting to really branch out to get more. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed that of the community that you guys have built in Michigan and how willing everyone is to help. And I, I'm, I'm jealous of that, and, but I don't really have the room at my place, mm -hmm. but at one point I did have a lot of people coming over all the time and we were having a lot of fun, you know, throwing and scoring and whatnot. And good way to pass time, you know? Yeah, it was fantastic. Was and and to push each other and, and get better. And yeah. for whatever reason, everybody. You school each other. You moved know, on. And like that. Gets busy. Yeah. Well, you get busy, but I do think like the UCAT, the two week UCAT competition, that was just fun, right? We did it kind of in pairs, um, right. two people throwing at a time videoing the live video Which is cool for you can you know, like you yeah. can't two people thing. scoring two people throwing just like it would be at a competition and then one person was videoing and you know you'd go up and get the scores and come back and the people would score and there wouldn't be you know a lot of distraction from whatever was going on and i just think that that was it was it made it more fun like a more of a right. live competition you know um so we were like yeah well, that was really cool it was only a two week thing right um or a two participation i guess thing um but it was all of them it was you know hawks and knives and and no spin and double yeah. bit even yeah. they had and now so, that one was the championship thing of w over you can they're gonna roll out a season oh um, yeah that um, see and i thought that was really fun to do at the range right with more people yeah. And not just having the one set of three targets like we have in the barn. We've got one set of three targets on one side and we could have right. like the end grain targets on the other side if we wanted. And we could have two in there, but that's max capacity there probably. Yeah, right. But outside, it was fun. I know Maria and I did the UCAT participation one and we ended up throwing the Tomahawks outside until yeah. November yeah. last Gosh. year. Because, if, you know, you're going back to seven meters. Right. You're throwing a tomahawk. Nice to throw that outside. Just nicer to throw. How far outside. do you have in your garage? You can throw three spin in there, can you? You yeah. can. Yeah, I got eight meters. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I think not I, quite a three no, spin. If, if we go, go all the way, way I mean, we got uh, what is it, barn? So I got probably 25, 25, 30 feet if yeah. we just throw the one way. But mm -hmm. I got uh, targets at each end of the barn, so you know, for their leagues or whatever, I'll yeah, set the yeah, one end yeah. up, and That's you can cool. we can do. Uh, five meters both ways. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. No problem. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the barn really has two ranges yeah. at the same time. Yeah, your yeah. property is set up is perfectly for, nice. for knife throwing. And, you know, yeah. that nice. way that slab's there, it's perfect. Your garage is big enough to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, adding those two remotes in the back, too, with the double bits, I mean, just, I think it was the first time for a lot of the women that ever threw. A double bit axe like that and they didn't i'm sure they thought they would never throw a double bit axe somewhere it's in right. their it's life i mean it's, you know, yeah. it's tough. and they were throwing and they were sticking and them and sticking them. they like, were doing very well with and it was raining and the look on your face was like they, they were right. so yeah. happy you know just and that's why we do it that 100 percent. and we have fun i mean gosh we have fun and plus we get to see cool people like you throw yeah. And throw between ladders and hang out. through the pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. And then, All the trick yeah, shots. plus we get to hang yeah. out. We get to watch you throw around Kelly. You know, well, I'm mean, short. You know, you have fun. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I had to <laughs> had to broadcast Tim's latest wins because, you know, I have been at it probably practicing more than Tim, but he's certainly a natural at it. He's, he's, you, he's you didn't throw up. in the beginning, right? 
that no, was just Don's I, thing. Yeah, when I first started, both of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I, I wanted to touch when on we first got into it, uh, I could not throw a rotational knife to save my butt. And he was, was ready to give up. I really I hated didn't even it. Carry a knife, right? I didn't you know, like you it. Never have a knife you know, in your pocket. You yeah. know. And Brandon yeah. McAlfish was there helping and he teaching us a lot. And somehow I get into throwing his spikes, and all of a sudden I was doing good at and no spin. Yeah. I could do no spin from everywhere. And yeah, Brandon it, was like, whoa. It took me probably three months, and finally I was like, I got to get this rotation down. So I, I got to figure something out, you know. So I went out there and just started sticking with it. and With my Griffins, yep, right? Yep, with the Griffins, mm -hmm. and finally started getting rotation. I was like, all right, cool. Now now I'm into the game a little bit, you know. Yeah. Because I was very mm -hmm. frustrated. I was about ready to quit. I did not want oh, to throw it Oh, you get upset. Yeah. You know? oh, he was I just couldn't figure it out. But yeah. there is no way that Bill would probably let you do that because even bill forced marie and i to throw our first no spin ever yeah because they came one day yeah. with the try it before you buy it i'm gonna yeah. call it Benric. dashies <clears throat> yeah and yeah. they came with those and yeah. marie and i are like yeah no we're not gonna be the first ones a to throw at these targets because they had never been thrown at before we just put them up and they're like yes you are you're gonna do it and we're like you want us to throw a, a nose knife at these? We've never even thrown a nose spin knife. <laughs> right. And and Bill Bednarik was like, nope, you're going to do it. And I'm going to have you start this way. And he <laughs> literally yeah. Yeah. taught us how to throw a nose spin knife from at least the front line before yeah. we were walking away. Probably right. took him maybe five minutes. I mean, we started just dropping it, yeah. right? But it was the dashies, those try it before you buy it. Yep. And they were really, really lightweight. And I think Kelly calls them diet griffin diet diet, diet, diet dashies, dashies. Yeah. Have, so tim's got diet griffins and he's got diet dashies yep. yeah that's it, the ones i use for no spin is the diet ones yeah, yeah. I, I i enjoy the quarter inch and the 316s yeah for different reasons i like to throw the 316s ones uh half spin no yeah. okay. i think of half spin more than i do a little more weight yeah it's it's less taxing on my arm because yeah. i got a snap yeah. and and i like the quarter inch ones for longer distances for no spin so yeah. but Cool. Yeah, he's been throwing. And then he was doing those little skinny ones from like seven, eight meters, you know, the diet yeah. dashies. That's awesome. <laughs> he was like, yeah. That's far. And then he was doing so good at that, but then he couldn't yeah. get rotational. Yeah, then, yeah. And then he lost rotational. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's cool about knife throwing. There's so many different things that you can do. There's, yeah. you know, knife, tomahawk, no spin, half yeah. spin. There's, you know, even yeah. circus stuff, impalement, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what nothing that we've even gotten into yet is like half spin or, you know, doing the different styles of throwing. We're yeah. Just, Sticking with a regular rotation, you know, no spin and tomahawks at this point. Yeah, I've know. seen John Jones do some fun newbies. stuff like We're that, the newbies, underhand so. throws and that. Because yeah. we've only been throwing for this October, will be two years. I'm just yeah, saying, that we've only been throwing years. since we first yeah. started. Well, You've been yes. throwing for two years too? Yeah, well, not me. Maria yeah, and I kind of started yeah. together yeah. with about the, year, maybe. the three of yeah, us. Not quite a year. Not quite. Yeah, yeah. Well, the guys have been working on cars. It's done good already, though. Yeah. It I, is nice yeah. that the more yeah. you throw, the better you get. Couples, you know, it's dynamic, something for couples you know, to do yeah, if they're yeah, both interested fun. in it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the past few days I was sitting home alone. I just sat home, and just do. You know, what I mean, well, what else you got to do? Is go out there and throw that's some nice. knives. You know, it's kind of a meditation Shots too. And hatchets. That's yeah, how you figure it out. Too. Too. Yeah, yeah, right right that's all yeah. you're thinking about at that time is just pump up the radio mm -hmm. and just yeah. you know hang out and yep. toss and stuff. Neighbor kid come over and he's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Yeah, I started." You know, showing him, he's like, I'm like, how old are you? He's like, 14. He's like, you know, and he started chucking him. That's and then cool. He, and then he brought his little brother over the next day. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm too tired now, dude. It's Friday, you know, I'm like, I'm done throwing right now, yeah. I'm like, come back when I get home or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, they're excited about it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's what I mean. I think like a they lot just of heard the, the blades, you know. Ting. Dropping them, yeah, yeah whatever. But, that's yeah. what got my text they people. They come running over. Right, a lot of the people and I you do guys taxes for. Immediately after you started, like, put on a tournament, a competition for a throw storm. We it attended it. Because we, right? started, we started throwing in October, started, and that yeah. competition was in January, and Kelly yeah. talked us into going, and yeah. we were like, We've only thrown well, for two or... months. We don't know what we're yeah. doing. No, but just Brandon go. Was also, just yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. And we had a ride. You'll have a good time. Yeah. Anybody listening that's, you know, worried about, yeah, or intimidated about going to a competition. Yeah. Yeah. I think I said it during the last episode too. It's it's yeah. not really like a competition. You're just yeah. going to compete with yourself. Yeah. yeah. The only thing, the only event that you really compete with other people is fast draw. 
And all you can do is learn. I mean, people yeah. show you. Oh, yeah. All you yeah. can do is yep. learn. Every if you, time you don't go, know how to do something, someone will be willing to show you. Absolutely. Yeah. And everybody's super cool with uh, all their knives and hawks. Yeah. You know, um, they are. Yeah, some of that stuff ain't cheap. So friendly, you know, I mean, if they let you toss them, you know, that's, that's, that's and just about anybody's like, well, try it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's really cool. It's like, it oh, is. did you want to try this one? It's like, oh my gosh, you're going to want me to throw that. Well, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. yeah, going to a throw, you'll be able to put your hands on so many different cool stuff. knives oh, yeah. that you would oh, never. That is yeah, the it's not homemade. Part. And then yeah. you go buy a Walmart. You yeah. Know, yeah. Well, seeing off. something online yeah. too, like on Facebook or whatever, yeah. it's totally different than like, oh, well, I like that. You know, yeah. you can get to go and ask, like, oh, can I see that or can I throw that? Yeah. And you get a chance to throw it before you buy it. You know, yeah. that's the cool thing about going yeah. to throws too. It yeah. is. It is. And they always, they usually have stuff sitting out just for that. I know I've opened other videos. Yeah. 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 yeah, Lewis was letting everybody throw his stuff. Yeah. And he had an, an absurd amount of... Uh, Crazy implements. Yeah. Like, yeah, Chris I, I was like, how do you have too. so many different designs? Chris Davey, too, as well. I know, yes. and they have some crazy cool designs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Crazy cool. Oh yeah, there's my there's, there's the there. range right there, man. Uh, oh, it's Tim. <laughs> yeah, the old range. That's the yeah, old. That's, that's the old range. Yeah, that looks like yeah. it was last that was fall. That was yeah. Beginner yeah. Range. Oh, that yeah. was you and Brandon. Yeah. When I was still probably trying to learn and figure it out. Yeah. September is sure. We had coats on, so I'm well, going to guess October. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, the leaves we, are getting we. Did we, we have coats on when we out there in um, October? We were yeah, yeah flannel for sure. We were definitely yeah, there's silly, the new range right there. By the, oh, yeah, that's we, the old or one. No, that's still old. That's the old one. We when had, you got the lights, though, you put yeah. the lights in. Yeah, the lights pictures. went in. See, the heaters were out. So yeah, the heater was that out. That had to have been about the time we were doing the That was just sad. That's probably just my Instagram stuff, oh, which I posted right. a few yeah. things, right? Not a ton. Well, the yeah. True Balance team. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean. It's, what model knife is that? That was the Model 70, and it looks just like yours. That's why I was going to check yours out. Yeah, I think. Um, there were two of them. Rebecca got one, and I got one. You get a strange grind on it, though, because yeah. it doesn't really follow the pattern. It goes Both in sides a little, a little bit, different. which I like that. Yeah. That's what I liked about the blade. Yeah. Yep. The only thing I don't like about the, the knife is the finish. Like I said, I'm not used to throwing that, that high of a polish, and it's a little bit slick. Yeah. So, but that knife is one of the best knives I've ever thrown by the handle, man. I was stoked on it. I, I know, threw it for at least I'm, an hour the first night I got it. Excited to get my very first set of ones that I can actually throw. So all of the ones I have are collectors. Um, the ones that we just got just recently from, I think, Jim and Bill, we literally were like, they have never been thrown. You know, oh, you guys got some of those too. Oh, from the from the eighties or whatever. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Those were so that one time he came over, he found whatever at uh, garage sale or whatever yeah. it was, mm -hmm. or yeah, and he just got a whole bunch. Yeah, of them. they hit the like, mother load. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's like a it was, uh, it was a, a, grail, a holy grail find. Yeah. Yeah. actually, I did a really long video on yes. it. Yes, yeah, you did. Yep. You did, and yeah, so I ended up getting the ones with the red sh the red sheets. Yeah. And Tim got a set of the pro throwers that were, I think, Stephen McAvoy. Yeah, well, Stephen made them. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's priceless picture right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brent and Brent. Tim. See, and it's yeah. kind of cool because Brent and Tim are in this one, and Jeff and right? Tim are in the other one. That's, uh, that was in um, Chillicothe, Ohio. That was a couple weekends ago. The blade aces. Uh, the blade yeah. aces. Bro, throw the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, the aces. The aces. Awesome. aces. Yeah. Good, the bad, and the aces. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. The place was awesome. Uh, we yeah, also no. got to see uh, we put on a nice bread. Chris. Oh yeah, so last time we were here, um, Lauren and Sam were here, and we talked about them getting married. So we could talk about that a little bit. That's one of the coolest weddings I've ever seen in my life. Oh my yeah, God. it was awesome. Yeah. It was yeah. the knife family on one side and, and the real family. On the yeah, other it was side. it was so chill as hell. Awesome. Everybody was just in their street clothes, you know, and uh, I got to throw yeah. around the couple. Yes. Well, it was kind of uh, cool yeah. because both Sam and Lauren, I think, were throwing up until participating in the exactly. competition up like until an hour before, before they got yeah. married. Yeah. 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 And they were like, oh, I guess we better quick change. Yes. But they, there's, yeah, the... Her profile picture, Alex, was uh, uh, right there. That I'm is... Yeah, that right there. Them yeah, that's them walking through. Yeah, yeah. the, the we're, we're, in, we're part of the uh, archway. That was cool. That was really cool. Well, it was really one of the family members. I don't even know which one it was. She was an elderly lady, kind of um but uh, she thought it was really cool. We were holding her knives and I had actually grabbed two knives in case danger came yeah. over by me. So I had one, but he was busy doing something else at that point. But it so happened I had two and oh, she's like, oh, that would be really cool. That's right. So you give her and one? She's like, so I, I let her, I was like, here, I have a knife. And so she's actually 
to holding it up there oh. to be part of it. Yeah, I'm sure it's something that I thought they it was weren't pretty expecting neat either, you know. Yeah. No. I, I think cool. that oh, but they let Griffin, a lot of their know? family know yeah. kind of what was going on. Right. But it definitely was the first time most of them had seen anything yeah. like that. So yeah. I, I was getting a little couple strange looks from some of the family when I was, you know, I bet. practicing throwing, practicing around, and throwing yeah. around them, you yeah. know. Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't fuck that up. I'm really glad you got to look, I'm serious. Like, I was yeah. a little bit nervous. Um, that's a big deal, you know, and everybody was like, I think Zach was recording me live. I'm like, ugh. But um, uh, it, there was talks until we found out that Ron had already became ordained or whatever. Uh, they had oh, talked yeah, about wanting yeah. me to marry them. And I was oh. like, man, that's a lot of pressure, dude. Yeah, I don't right. know. Yeah. But well, it would have been funny. He was it would it. it would have been funny. Yeah. Actually, Owen, I told him about it, and he went ahead and got ordained. Mm -hmm. you, you can do it online. It's yeah. right. no big that's deal. Right. But, yeah. And they, it was really cool that since they'd already had their rings from whenever they got engaged, that they exchanged knives. Yeah, that, yeah. that, yeah. that was yeah, cool. That was yeah. cool. With the snake yeah. ivy wedding. So that's I mean, part that of your life. Cool. I mean, that's the I, main part of their life. It's right? what they. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really into it. it I, I awesome. just realized I didn't introduce you. I know you didn't. It's okay. Damn it! I'm sorry, everybody listening. Uh, <laughs> this is my beautiful girlfriend, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I forgot. Yeah, sorry. I, I knew it. It was okay. I think people would realize when I started talking that I was here too. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. everybody knows you. Right. Yeah. It's fine. That's good. Okay. She's the glue that keeps me together, and you know. <laughs> If it wasn't for Alicia, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, that's for sure. Yeah, girl. Someone's got to keep me in line. He needs a strong partner right there with him. So. He brings us to uh, Danger Fest. Because that's the next one, right? The last yeah, podcast yeah. Yeah. we well, talked about. Coachella is happening right now yes. at Sarnia Valley Axe in uh, Sar Sarnia, Canada. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Canada. It's Canada. It is Canada, but it's yeah. like they have different provinces or something. Yeah, I never it's know. In a different province. I don't know. Anyway, it's in Canada, and everything's going on right now. I was actually talking to Marcus Method on the way here. Uh, they said it was brutally hot. The humidity oh, was a big it factor. It is hot there, though. So they, yeah. they but you think about it, they're just on. They're not far from where Throwstorm was at. Yeah, they're not right. far yeah. from. Yeah. Just across the. They're, they're, they're twenty minutes across. from Brent. Yeah. So yeah. And Damn. he's on the other the side of Michigan. Yeah, yeah. The, last, the time before. The time before. Because yeah. that's where he goes to throw in his league or whatever his X league in there into sarnia oh really yeah because he's like yeah it's 20 minutes away so well yeah he said it's actually closer for him mm -hmm. so yeah danger fest is coming up september 17th to the 19th hit me up if you're interested in checking that out uh then the throw after that is the boobs throw it's a breast cancer awareness throw hosted by goldie uh where what it's sarnia ontario sarnia ontario okay yep. But where is Goldie's? Goldie's Get is these. it's um it's in Texas. It's I don't remember the spot that she. It's by her house. Isn't it's it? by her house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at her house. It's at her I house. She moved it to her house. house. Yeah, it's at her house. At yeah. Her house. So it's at her house. You actually have to get a hold of her for specific directions and address to it. Mm -hmm. Just okay. because she doesn't want to post her address. Yeah, look up uh, Goldie Locks on Facebook for information it's about that. But it's actually under boobs. I just right. searched it. So if you search boobs on Facebook. <laughs> Blades out or bust. Um, out. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what yeah. it yeah. is. Yeah. It is a breast yeah. cancer I didn't know awareness. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, this one, so. and the reason I wanted to go to this one, and I'm not a big fan of wanting to fly with all of my stuff, but. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, they know. will go through your shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I do is I print off something where I'm going and why I have what I have. And then I tape all my knives together. And as long as your knives don't weigh over, yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. yeah, so that will be different, right? Traveling that yeah. way instead of traveling, driving, which has been every other thing that we've done. But I did sponsor a lane for myself, well, being awesome. an 11-year survivor. Nice. That's awesome. In October, it will be... It will be 11 time. years. It well, will well, be 11 years yeah, of survivor. Yeah. Wow. In October. Yeah. Awesome. That's yeah, my awesome. last, ironically, my last radiation treatment was in October. So, and that happens to be Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is. We're going. That's why we'll we're going. There. Okay. You are going. Yep. That'll yeah. be awesome. I, unfortunately, I cannot 15, go. I don't have any more vacation yeah, time. I won't either. 
luckily my boss is being cool and giving me a few extra days yeah. so I can handle Danger Fest. That's because there's getting to be so many throws. Like we, oh, I know. It's it's every, every month. So many it's more crazy. now. Yeah. And like, it's but, awesome. Like just a few it years is, ago, it was it was the World Championship every other year in Texas. Joe's throw, and then my Blade Aces when they had their Vegas. Their spot. Vegas one, yes. And then my throw. That was. But Vegas was hard. It. For us oh. to get to because at that point you had to choose texas or vegas because you're flying to both yeah you know, like it's yeah and that's what sucks about it's cool that there's so many but it yeah. sucks that you start to have to choose yeah. which one you're going to go to right. and, and you know uh that makes it hard you know there's one in july and big bar big bear that bill grasso puts on right. and in august is blade aces now september's mine don't plan to throw in september <laughs> september's mine <laughs> and then uh october you know goldie's taking that over since the um Mike Baton had to get rid of the property there. Uh, so that's right. no longer going to happen. I'm kind of sad about that. Mm -hmm. uh, the World Championship moved exclusively to Canada, which I'm mm -hmm. you know, sad about that because it's hard for me to get across the border. But yeah. And then the next one, we're trying, it appears, that we're possibly trying to get Throw Storm. I'm yeah. going to say probably Throw January. January. Right. Well, it's, so, it's, yeah. that is a thing. But in the works. Blades in the Glades is also in oh, January. Right. Oh, really? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, and I had a really good time yeah, down there. It was cool. It was fun. It was, it was chill. The targets were not good, but we still had a great time. They were, <laughs> whatever. Right. But, um, and then, uh, one that's happening on Valentine's day that's invite only is in Puerto Rico. Right. Stash Kelly moved to Puerto Rico. Oh, really? And right. someone talked him into having a, a, the oh, throw no there way. and he says you can't have that many people he's only inviting like 10 oh, wow. and uh man he invited me and i was like dude i would love to go i don't even have to have a passport to go to puerto rico so yeah. no. never been right. I, I really want to go but i already already said i was going to go to blades and the glades and throw storm i will absolutely yeah. I'll, I'll go to that too because it's you know it's michigan yeah so i i don't know man if right. i have to start figuring out yeah, which I, I want to go to all of them yeah all exactly. of them every be, single one it's yeah, it's right. always a good time yeah, and like it, say, there's just so many of them now yeah it's like, and it, it sucks when you can't go and support your friends yeah yeah because it, it takes a lot to put on these things yeah yeah uh, a lot of effort a lot of time and money um, so yeah. yeah but i am glad that in each region they're getting more and more so even though we may not be able to get to georgia or california or texas there's regions it's closer yes. for Correct. people like yeah. so there, there's yeah. people that on that area that can get there that can't as Come often make it to michigan way. or yeah. us right. or joe's or so at least there's more that are branching out so that yeah it's, yeah i mean it just sucks when you want to make them all though and you want to you know yeah if, you, if you're listening to this and you're thinking about having a throw i say just do it just right. do it you'll figure it out it'll work out you know, yeah, right. you know, it's it's a learning yeah. curve. Yeah, you you learn. Know, we learn every year. You know, the more people that come, the more you got more um, organized you got to be. <laughs> yeah, I, and I was but, extremely impressed at the Bla Battle of Blade Maidens because you guys were just but I'm also incredibly gonna add, organized. If you're gonna do a throw, do it, but remember the fun of why you're doing it. Yeah, it does get stressful. It does, but if you're taking it to the point that you're you're making yourself crazy over it and making your, you're you're going to lose the fun of why we do the throw. So we kind of have to reel in danger sometimes. <laughs> um, but this year he's more relaxed. He's more. Yeah, I am. But, I'm much more prepared, and I have friends coming to help me. Right. And because I like to do everything myself, I, I would. It's weird, even having you guys come. It's weird. You came all this time, all this way, but I was like, man, we're doing some like. It's not that far. It's pretty heavy work, though, what we're doing. You know, 90 degree weather, yeah. you know, 90, 90 degree heat. It builds character, right? Yeah, why is it whenever we come to, I don't know. to your place, it's like 90? Right? It, it, it's karma because you bring rain to us so no. wherever you guys go, right? <laughs> I know. That's, that's what it seems like, right? No. <laughs> don't you put that evil on me, right, Bobby? Not, no. Yeah. I started thinking about it, though, and they kind of had a point. I, I mean, it rains when we go to Broken Feather. It rains. I mean, maybe last know. year. Now we haven't been to Georgia, so that's not our. No, oh, Georgia. They it right. poured. It poured at Georgia, uh, and we it weren't poured. there. Poured. Yeah. That was not on us. <laughs> yeah. She's like, that was not us, and it did. But yeah, Ohio. We can't even really say anything. Like a half hour before we get that, got there. Literally, the only flipping cloud in Ohio with every color in it oh, is yeah. over us. Yeah. yeah. So that was another throw that we. They haven't told about it. She doesn't do it every year, but Tracy Tenney holds an Iktoff throw in Georgia. I can't remember exactly where it's at. 
Yeah. And uh, Tracy's a really cool person and been into knife throwing awesome. for a very long time. I don't know if you guys have met Tracy yet. I don't think she so. was at Danger Fest two years ago. Right. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Hopefully yeah. she can come. Is that from from different scoring she's, then? Or? She's it's what we do. Yeah, oh, okay. We do. So we're we're kind of yeah. Pull her back in. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah, I haven't heard anything lately from Tracy. I but. think, yeah, I'll have to reach out to her and uh, see how she is. Yeah. She's planning on coming. But I hope everybody can come. Right. Like, right. The more the merrier, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, so 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 everybody knows also for Danger Fest, um, we haven't quite posted. We were originally going to do a food truck, but that kind of fell through for this year. Um, so we all, however, though, if you have never had the Michigan Cruise food, you are about to. <laughs> Dawn makes these amazing breakfast burritos. Maria is going to make tacos for lunch on Saturday. So this is for Saturday. Um, so we, for your admission fee. Pre-registration or whatever, your attendance, whatever. What's it called? Your your participation into participation. the throw or ten dollars gets you covered for meals. Yes. If you're not going to so throw, will but you pay ten dollars, then that covers for you for your meals. Lunch on Saturday. And dinner. And dinner. Because we're just well, because they you had originally put the the food truck, so. They want to, we kind of just want to try and cover most of Saturday to okay. make it convenient. And then, yeah. you know, for food Sunday on Friday, breakfast, breakfast, whatever, North Webster is right there. I mean, there's all kinds of places to go eat there. And there's a gas station even closer that has like an Elmo's subs in it that has yeah. pretty good food, actually. I love yeah, it. it does. It is actually really good. So. So that, we have that covered. I can't tell you what we're having Saturday night yet because uh, Miss Candy's still working on it. I'm well, Dad said, he's got, Dad said he's got 40 pounds of. Hamburger, yeah. right. so, so I mean that could feed up. a lot yeah. of people, I yeah. think, right? right. It's yeah. a lot of tacos. Yeah. yeah. So well, we are going to use we'll yeah, some care for of. that, and probably some for yeah. Yeah. Sounds like it might be a pasta bar or something. I, hey, I'm I'm game. I'm everything we'll sounds good at this point. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're and letting Candy do that because she's the food planner for. She's great with that. Yeah. yeah. So and then Danger Fest will also not be exactly it's going to be on that property you're going to the same spot except for we're not throwing right behind the bait shop this year correct um where there once was a hill last year um where we were shooting a, where they were shooting and had the swords stuff is no longer there um and our targets will be lined up there against you'll be able to see it when you yeah, pull you'll in you'll it. be able to see it it's a nice flat just spot. Have, a, but, have a lot more uh, a lot more room yeah, we're yes. planning on having 10 lanes that's the ultimate goal. I, it might be eight, but we're planning on 10 and I would like to have a range back there at the camping areas to just, just to messing around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested in hearing the, uh, the event schedule, I did a, a video on Instagram and Facebook and I think I put it on YouTube as well talking about what we're doing, but I'll go over it real quick. Usually on Sundays is when we have Fast Draw, oh, Mountain Man. Up the Times Union oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. that was a good time. There's Loic right there, yeah, man. That was, two years that was ago. fun. There's Loic. That was a good time. Dixon. Jason Johnson, Bushido. I don't know if he's coming this year, but uh, if he does, give his autograph. Um, <laughs> wow. There's so Lee. usually we do all the games Fast Draw, Silhouette, Long Distance, and Mountain Man games on Sunday. But Sundays afternoon, most people start to Head have to leave. They got to go back to their families and jobs and stuff. So what I decided to do is Fast Draw is my favorite thing. And we're also doing a new event this year, a trick shot competition. That's going to be hosted by Cody Cooper and uh, Scott Fernandez. My friends from Colorado were coming for the first time. And they're incredible nice. trick shot artists. Oh, they they live awesome. together yeah. and they've oh. come up with a whole, um, all, I let them just run with that. I was like, you guys just take care of this for me. Yep. They come cool. up with all the rules and everything. They're having prizes. Uh, it might even be a sponsored event, which is cool by um, Revo Knives. I haven't heard back yet, but that would be really cool that we could build an actual big end grain wall. Oh, that's wow. that's what oh, I want to yeah. do. I want to have like a big end grain wall, so you have a much more area for doing your trick shots. But so we're doing that. We're doing fast draw, three meters and five meters. That's always. The most exciting thing to watch, you know, it's everybody really gets into that. It's it's, it's cool to watch. It's my favorite thing. So Is we're going to do that. Is or double elimination? I think we're going to determine that on uh, how many people show up. Okay. And that how many sense. people want to do it. 
right? right. right. Because we're also going to be doing yeah fast draw as well. If, I mean, if we have a hundred people, we probably should do single elimination. Okay. Um, right. But uh, and then uh, of course Friday is practice. Come there, get used to the range, get used to the targets, and get ready for find your Saturday line. morning. Yeah, find your line. Yep. And we'll do amateur knife, pro knife, amateur hawk, pro hawk, and then amateur no spin, pro no spin. And then I'm not sure where it's going to fit in yet, but we are doing an instinctive knife throwing course this year. And I'm pretty stoked about that. We may be doing that off to the side during everything else. So after you're, if you're not throwing over here, you go over here and do the instinctive course. And uh, my good friend, Chris Davey is coming up early. He'll be there all week with me to help me build targets, mark lines. And during that time, we are also gonna set up the instinctive course and kind of go over some things right. to, to see how it, it works out. You know, I, I, awesome. I do wanna, I'll hit up Michael Busby. They had the Red River Instinctive Challenge a while back and uh, that went really well. And I'm gonna get some ideas from him on how they determined where the targets were or how far you were back because, you know, you want everybody to have equal distances you know different distances at each target but yeah. equal so not one person is throwing far back all the time Sounds you know like what i mean fun, though. yeah like i think it's gonna be rad like i think it's, it's gonna be hard oh yeah, yeah. it's gonna yeah. be very challenging yeah, sounds like Tree shot. and we'll let yeah, you do like every time, right? we'll yeah. let you do rotational no spin or half spin whatever you're most comfortable with and whatever if you're standing there and you think that you can do that from that distance we'll let you do it so i'm pretty excited about that um Sounds awesome. and uh yeah. And people are starting to come um, with like kind of Wednesday. I mean, you're allowed to come early. Yep, um, we got plenty of camping. camping. We have Camping's porta free. potties for arriving on Tuesday. Um, so, and then we are staying through Monday. So if you want to stay Sunday night, head out Monday morning, um, we, we will be staying there through, through then. So that way everybody can kind of hang out. Yep. Nobody wants to end up leaving. We don't mm -hmm. want Yeah, nobody to wants to leave at all. So we kind of extended yeah, that's the last day to Monday. Oh, back home. I know. Oh, back we got to leave yeah. everybody yeah. in, and it just stinks. It's, yeah. But uh, so there's that, and uh, so we're just looking forward to everybody. If you got canopies and you want to bring them, that'd be great. And especially if we continue with this Chairs hot weather. Chairs and canopies. We yeah. need and shade. I'm eating a big tent. We are. It only it's has sunny. one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you're listening, please bring and chairs. some shade. If you're driving and, chairs. and bring some lawn chairs, please. I'm going to try and get extra than I already have, but still. Goldie brought like, what, 24 or something? I, she, brought she brought tables and chairs, but our Goldie's flying in yeah. this year. So, That's yeah. um, so that way, if, if you just kind of think to bring your lawn chairs. and I'm just it. saying she really. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. she I saved. I mean, it made it really comfortable for everybody a, bit, a couple years yeah, ago. She did, yeah. So. Uh, she brought all that to Melody's. Oh, those were hers? Those were, yeah, yeah, yeah. she drove them. Wow. Um, Man, the community is second to none. Like, yeah. how willing amazing. everybody yeah, is to help all. each other. I mean, it's yeah, it's it crazy. It's uh, statewide. I mean, you go state to state. Everybody. Yeah. Why yeah. Right. It's yeah. where it's all at. It's cool. Yeah, I can't, I can't uh, express it's that enough. Nice. If you're listening to this and you're, you know, you want to go to a throw, or you're thinking about going to a throw, you, you got to go. You, you got to experience this. And the people that I've met are the good friends. nicest, coolest you people, turn to most, a friend. Yeah. yeah, the honest people I've ever met. So, mm -hmm. um, without a doubt. Yeah. So, okay. So last time we had uh, Jake Craycraft here, and he brought up a good question, and we went around the room, and he says he asked, "What are your personal goals for knife throwing? What do you guys want to get out of it? Do you guys want to just give your?" Just having fun, or do you want to reach a certain level or score? Hopefully bullseyes. <laughs> All bullseyes. <laughs> yeah. We're just starting. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Oh, that that's kid. what he was trying to do when Love we got that home kid. that night. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's one of my best friends right there. He did that after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, shortly after he filmed this, Beaver tossed it over my fence. It's, it's gone. gone. Oh. No way. It is gone. Oh. I have oh, no man. idea where that damn thing went. I just got it. it. I just got it. Oh. Uh, a guy from Michigan, his name's Christopher Oberg, made me a couple of those. I still have a cue ball one. Oh, man. But that was super cool and it's That's it's unique. Cool it's fun to throw. Yeah. There's Jake. First no spin. He's a good no spin thrower, man. Yeah, he's very good. Sure. Yeah. Oh, well, and then he's he's the young Lauren and, and June. June. John. John, right? John. John. 
John was awesome. I think he's yeah. coming to yeah. Danger Fest. He's, oh, he's definitely yeah. 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 He's he was, yeah. Man, he had a lot of good info too. I don't know. He helped me with a nose spin. He's like, you know, you start at the target, you hold your arm out, you kind of hold it there, and then you sit there and flick it, and flick it, flick yeah. it until you get it. Okay. Yeah. He's like, and once you get that, you just back up, back up, back up. You know what um, I mean? I don't know if you guys knew or not, but he got into some poison ivy over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did, I did yeah. too. I he did too. I got just a little Dude, bit. I, of it, as soon as I saw that there was poison ivy behind those mountain man targets, oh, yeah. I'm like, nope. Me either. Man, when I, I was a kid, to... I could just yeah. look at poison ivy. I'd yeah. get in my fucking eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had never shut. experienced it until this year. This is yeah. our first year, yeah. and now we've had it I got twice. It twice. Yeah, Battle this of the year. Blade Maidens. We yeah, yeah. Wait, Maria, yeah. Battle 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 battle. Battle. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. 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 The older you uh, get, your body changes. So yeah, because yeah. yeah, that really uh, Battle of the Blade Maidens, I got so it. So we're still weekend. really young. Yeah. 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 He's immune. He won't get it. Yeah, it's he weird. Can, he can roll around and crap. He won't get it. But if I even get near it, I got it. You can get shots. Yeah. There's like a series of shots that you can get that makes you immune to it. And I, when I was a kid, I hate needles bad. Yeah. Uh, so I went to get the first shot and I threw such a fit that I never went back for the second one. So I still get poison ivy now to this day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, needles, yeah, yeah, we, no yeah. Cause I was like, Oh, what's going on? And he was like, yeah, I kind of got a little poison ivy. And he did the same thing. And he was like washing the Dawn oil. dish. So I mean, first yeah. get the oil off. And then next thing you know, you're putting on the ivy dry, whatever you can put on there. Yeah. yeah. I stopped so bad. Machine. I would take Rubbing alcohol. I heard works best, you know, That's just, just dry it out. Dry. Yeah. yeah. Some, some heavy Man, I used to take a lighter. Yeah. I would take a lighter and light it, wait till the end got hot, and I would burn it. Oh, uh -huh. it would. I always oh, use paint it thinner. It felt good, work. but it I'll, I'll take the M the M M K or whatever they call it, the paint thinner, and I'll dump that on there. Really? It dries it right wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, just like Ugh. clear coat. It's paint. probably not good for you, but dude, I, yeah, clear coat. That's free that's paint. uncomfortable. That's <laughs> right. that makes me uncomfortable just looking MEK, at it. MEK, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, back to our original, since we got like ten yeah. minutes left, probably. But so, no, I mean, okay. so, so yeah. Oh, story. sorry. Yes, we got on a little tangent there. So you guys want yeah, to talk I about mean, what your goals are? Probably for me, I I just want to be good at something, right? Like feel good about doing something, practicing at it, and actually doing it, and then passing along to achieving that goal. Yeah, I mean, passing along to others. Passing it along probably, is fun, right? Yeah. Probably the most fun yeah. for me because I love to see how happy other. people me too. Um, but true. me, I mean, I've got a disabled placard. I don't use it. You don't see me using it. But one of the reasons I don't is because I want to try to stay active. You know, I'm fused from C2 to T2. So I've got titanium in my neck. And um, I've had 15 surgeries on my left side only um, besides my I didn't neck. know that. Yeah. Um, since Jeez. cancer, so right? Since 2010. So so that's why I'm like, here, girl. Yeah. yeah, that's why yeah. I'm like, oh, he's so careful when I'm walking. That's why you'll see everybody helping me. I think Brent was like, just stick to the driveway at, you know, when we were in Chili Coffee, because yeah. he was like, you know, it's, it's dark. Just yeah. stick to the oh, driveway. You're I almost safe. fell multiple times. Yeah. yeah, we had a couple. And that's why I was like, well, but no, I mean, I just I want to I want to be comfortable with it. Right. Get the instinctive, get the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a big deal for me that I want to get consistent. I always call myself That's inconsistent because I too. feel like I'm not consistent. Um, but I also like going out for an hour a night with Tim and throwing. Mm -hmm. You guys throw every day? We try. That's, try. That's, we do. That is very important. And we try to throw it's together. So, so important to do can, that. Even if you can only throw for 10, 15 minutes active. a day, right. it means you a know, lot instead to Instead of going memory. for our walk as an old couple being empty nesters, we're outside at our range throwing and it does drive a lot of traffic to stop by our neighbor's True. stop and it's quality time kids i was gonna ask you about that stop. do you guys have a lot of people asking because your targets are oh, facing yeah. the road i'm sure you guys have all kinds of questions right <laughs> a lot of people stop yeah, at yeah we get them every once in a great while we guys do we guys do it yeah. yeah and neighbors walk by and all of a sudden they just walk up all of a sudden you know, oh there's people here <laughs> yeah we're Conversation guys. starter for sure. Yeah, yeah. a lot of oh, people yeah. think it's an archery range, but now yes. that um, so Kelly like. got the MBT sign that has the knife on the bottom, I think that helps a little. Yeah, yeah. we put a sign by the road now for oh, the nice. MBT range. So. Yeah, you guys gonna... have an official logo for that? Because I've been meaning to make you something. Oh, the MBT, UOPs. yeah, there is actually. I've just been using the MBT. So I had a flag made, MBT West, because we started helping Brent build Instead his range on yeah, the east side of the eased. state. So cool. MBT East and MBT West well, send me that, is kind uh, of where we're going. So can. yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I got that from Rebecca. But yeah, I was, I said to Brent, I'm like, he's like, yeah, 
So I did make a flag. It says MBT West, and it's got the logo on it, and it's kind of hanging off the side of the range. That's cool. That's and awesome. then we got the same one for Brent, and we brought that to him for his East Range. Right. But he's got some leveling to do, and but when his range is done, it's going to be sweet. Yeah. It's then there'll be, be another like, throw to go through. Another <laughs> fun yeah. place yeah. to go yeah. and throw. It's so nice that you guys aren't that far away from us. Right. Yeah. And, you know, we really feel like we're Michiganders. Right. Michiganders. 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 Yeah. Michiganders. Yeah. We always include you in the Michigan. We're, we do. I hope so. Yeah. Just the because, lake life. Yeah. The lake life. Yeah, yeah. we're just kind of like, we, we belong to Michigan. Yeah. Well, yeah. What we did. Like, I mean, I mean, right? Yeah, I mean, Kelly gave us the opportunity to throw different knives before we even got started. So, yeah. Before we even ordered, you know, the knives that we ordered, which, of course, I think my favorite knife to throw and most consistent throw from blade and handle is the Griffin. Um, mm -hmm. Handle, I can throw mm -hmm. a bullseye seeker. I can throw pretty much anything, even it's whether it's scales, huh? not scales. Yep, it's handle, definitely. But getting that blade throw, the wider the blade, the harder it is for my smaller hand to get Agreed. around it. So if you can get the Griffin blade, it just seems like you it's like you're gripping the handle. So I think you can be more consistent with those, but that's it right there. The most yeah. iconic knife of all time. Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been yeah, pushing that knife yeah. for years. Anybody that asks me the, what kind of knives they should get, if they're going to get customs, I always push them to get those because they're yeah. the best all around knife that you can buy. Yeah. I told Bill because they just did a member spotlight for me on for work because it's unusual pricing for, in history for women. To throw. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's history. Uh, Griffin style who's this history. Guy? Look at this Worth Point, whatever that is. Huh? Never heard of that. Hmm somebody that what about you Tim um, of your, your, goals. your goals do you have any goals <sighs> I don't know I, I just it's just fun to do I, you know that's uh, that's I guess my goals now would be to go back to no spin get my no spin back down but I think farther distances yeah I, I think I like Man. the challenge of throwing farther and sticking it it's a it's, it's a good feeling I guess you know when you when you can do oh, that yeah, dude. yeah you know it, it's really awesome um I think another part of it would be to meet the other part of the community that I don't know. Yeah. You know, like you say, Jason Johnson, you know, more famous people to us because we're so new at it. And, right. you know, when we first met you, you know, we're just in awe, like, oh, my God, look at that. Oh, you see, you We're hanging out with Nate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh, you know, they're coming to our house. Yeah, 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 it's it's and, you know. You're just normal <laughs> down-to-earth people, but it, yeah. it's still the <clears> cool community, and it gets bigger. And, it, like you say, it is a family more. It is. You know, it's Absolutely. a better family than what yeah. I got. So. Yeah. Brothers and sisters it's of the night, awesome. exactly. Related and that's, family. That's probably yeah. the yeah. best part out of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, what I same, really enjoy. Same mindset or whatever. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, we've mindset. got a lot of really good friends and we've got a lot yeah. of people we can count and on. And to me, you can never have too many friends. You know, it's what life's about. Life's too short not to have them or, you know, yeah. you got to live your life for what it is now. And yeah. Yeah. He's already, he's already had open heart surgery too. So, I mean, he had open heart surgery and then he had a full colectomy yeah. and then I got cancer. So that all happened between 05 yeah, and 2010. So, like I say, we live Watch life me. for now and, and do what so, we can. Like I say, come in here so to help you. Now. I don't care. I mean, yeah. you guys are doing yeah. so good. I'll though. drive a few hours to come and help you guys anytime I can. Yeah. That's know. why we stay active, though. <laughs> well, and the best part was honestly just sitting around throwing knives afterwards. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's Yeah, You just we had, can't that. beat it. Like, yeah. yeah, we had one target that we had, that right. we set up and we had a blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were, we were throwing. And we all threw decent. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we never had a bunch knives. That was awesome. Nope. Right. Right. Yeah, dark I was looking. Oh. Small yeah. round. Yeah. Well, we had a nice light. Yes, yeah, yeah. nice light. What about, about you, Maria? Maria? Okay, well, Maria. Um, I agree. I feel like it is a very blessed. I'm very blessed to be in the family of the knife throwing community. Um, I'm very honored to even be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it and i feel like for my own personal self i started out doing knives right and then i didn't know i'd do anything else then started doing some acts the tomahawks right at mm -hmm. tomahawks and i think i feel like i need to get back to my knives because i feel like i'm almost doing better with my tomahawks and i've lost my knife throw a little um <laughs> so i'm like oh no but she is a tomahawk it. girl and then i started sorry, tomahawk too yeah girl. yeah and i started the no spin which I don't know if that's why. I'm trying to learn something else, which I'm improving on. Not the greatest, but still a no lot of fun. No spin that's is hard. No spin is the hardest. It's, it's hard. hard. But it's hard to be a well-rounded yeah. thrower, too, for all of it. Yes. To be, you know, unless if you yeah. got hours upon hours to practice. Well, they got different you know. weights. I mean, every blade's different. Every implement's different. You know? Yeah. But I love it all, and it's so fun. 
and I love to see everybody else. I love watching everybody on the videos, you can all of it, Ames Games, Rhea's my partner your videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don Don got me started and it's been fun. I love every minute of it. I love meeting everybody. I love the community. I do feel like it's part of my family. <clears throat> so. I look forward to going to throws more than anything. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that is. We don't I even agree. take vacation. No, it's right. our vacation. For anything yeah. else. That's our vacation. It's our vacation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well Moran throws the same knife too. as me. Yep. Yep. So She's got the Griffins also. The Griffins also, yep. I do love them. Uh, yeah, I do. I'll be getting more. I'm sure of all kinds of them. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Eventually, wow. but yep. Yeah, we just. It's started. an obsession. It is becoming knives. an obsession. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Before you know, uh -huh. you have a hundred knives laying around, yep, and exactly. like just giving them away or something. Right. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. What about you, Marty? Um, I just started watching Maria and just watching her. She got so happy. I mean, she was just like. She glowed, you know what I mean? After she'd come home and you know, hanging out with Don, and she'd just be in a super mood, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it just, it calmed her whole spirit, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Like it just calmed her down, and yeah. So I'd start throwing with her, you know? And it does, it relaxes you, it really does, yeah. you know? It's kind of like you can throw all your emotions <laughs> into that knife, and you know, get rid of the stress in the day. You can, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Something about just hearing to that hear noise it, too, you know, right? That that thunk. Just to hear it hitting that, you know, yeah. that, that it's very satisfying. Yeah. It is very satisfying. Yeah. That's what it really is. It's yeah. about satisfying. And it's fun, you know, it's, it's a good time. Do you have any do, goals do you, right now? Do you want to get better at something? Or I want to get a lot better at everything, but I'm just trying to have fun. Hey, that's good. You know, nice. yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't plan that's on being up. a professional, but, you know, I, I want to hang out. You know, I like people. It's a good time. Well, I'm glad it's you're always a good time participating. All man. the people yes. are cool, you know. They yes. they take you in like a brother, you yeah. know. It's 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 a good time. Well, I think I've met too. a lot of new friends, and I'm not a real outgoing person. You know what I mean? I'm right. pretty quiet and shy, but it's a good time. Cool. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad you've been coming, man. Yeah. It's great. Well, people give you pointers too, which yeah, is too. helpful. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. So cool, yeah. It's helpful. So yeah, it's like not, not in a rude way, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, like, dude, you know, you try this, you know. Not like, oh man, you do this all wrong, yeah. or, you know. Right. There's yeah. no, there's no one way shot, to throw it. Enough time no. to help. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's right just foot, left foot. Yeah. You know, Everybody, whatever. Yeah. You know, everybody's got their own whatever. Yeah. You just gotta find it. You know. Everybody has their own way. Yeah. Not one method works for everybody. And it's cool once you get your line. You know, and you start sticking them. You're like, yes. Uh, yeah, confidence goes awesome. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if I could be her, I'm like, yeah, sweet. Yeah. And she's done it no way longer than I have. <laughs> well, that's what Tim says too, because he is just like that. Yeah, that's what you and guys Tim are Tim helped me a lot. I mean, me and Maria got a lot of good info. So it's like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure we just did that last night, guys, and we were like, yeah. okay, well, we're just on a different level fun. than what yeah, you yeah. were trying right. to achieve, and, and we're just going to go back and We had and a different goal for our, 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 our own We had our own goal. We wanted to get one center yeah. cut out of all the throws, Look, at least. We were throwing at cars, and I was, that's what I was doing. You know, right. throwing <laughs> cars. And it was well, yeah, it was between, yeah, you and Tim were <laughs> basically Tim was giving me rough run money, man. At least he was keeping you on your toes. It was. I like that. I like that challenge. Yeah. All right, looks like we're running up on 57. 58 minutes here so um yeah i think we're going to conclude that one thank you guys so much for coming and helping me and thank you for coming and doing the podcast with us that means, that means a lot good time. and uh we'll do it again sometime um anyone listening i'm not sure if i will get another podcast out before danger fest and if i don't i guarantee the the, the podcast I do after that is going to be fire because I'm going to oh, have yes. a bunch of stories. Yeah. Yeah, well. Thanks for listening, everybody. And I'll try to take Thank some you. pictures. Peace <laughs> out. Bye. Oh.